First thing I have to say is welcome. Wow, look at all these people. And you said we couldn't do it. Um, we've been talking about this for the last year. And uh, uh, when we first, we meeting the command, and, and I want to start off by saying um, this is a team, this is truly a team effort. This, this uh, strategy of 24 contracts started at an off-site with our technical competencies, our portfolio leads, and our contracts best and brightest. And it was, we basically went into that offsite on Sullivan's Island with uh, knowing we had to do something different, but had no idea what that different was going to be. And uh, we came up with this concept, had a lot of naysayers, you'll never do it, it'll take you five years. Where's Pete Van? He told me. You know, maybe four and a half. Kevin McGee said three. Okay, so anyway, so here we are, I don't know, ten months later, nine months later, and uh, we're, we're pretty much rolling. So, so got to say thank you to everyone that's been involved in this, and, it's, and, and there's a whole bunch of uh, moving pieces in that. Um, so thank you for being here. Uh, one of the things that you can see in our strategy when you start looking at it, a huge piece, six contracts are devoted to unrestricted, okay? But then there's 18 that are targeted for either small business, 8A, or preference program. That's a, that has got to tell you that we're committed to to. The, the small business piece, knowing that that's been a huge reason why we have been so successful. Um, it's so important to the Spaybor as a command. We have uh, our director of small business from Spaybor headquarters, Faye Asayas. I want you to stand up. And... <laughs> Faye's kind of um, nervous, kind of ma- making sure that we don't do any missteps, making sure that we do as good as we've done in the past. So, so, and she's helping us. So that's a that that's an awesome thing. I want to say thank you for all the, the. You don't see them, but there's probably 25 contracts folks in here. Okay, and oh by the way, probably 10 or 15. Well, maybe 10 of them are uh, in their first year. Okay, we hired 28 interns last year, and um, really. Just put them to work right away, and they're all really happy and, sh- and sh- shiny faces. And so it's, it's really been a great thing, so I want to say thanks. Um, the setup today, this is actually a pre-proposal conference, okay, for these 24 contracts. And so the setup is going to be that um, you're going to hear a little bit from Jim Crawley, who's our technical. He's our, he's our contracts engineer, speci- our, our guy that... that um, he's our technical connection, okay? Um, he is basically almost single-handedly with, 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 again, a lot of help, put together these statements of work. So he's going to tell you a little bit about that. Then we're going to have the portfolio managers tell you about their um, uh, business areas. Um, and then you, uh, Steve Arnig and Kathy Breitkreitz are going to tell you how the contracts are going to work. Um, before... I'm going to talk a little bit about our contract strategy again, just to give you a little background to make sure that, that um, you understand. Um, next slide. You got this? Yep. Um, the wild, wild west. We were actually getting too many, con- we, we were getting more contract requests than we could actually do. Okay, so, so something had to give. So um, we did come up with a strategy. Next slide. So this is kind of a picture of the strategy with the portfolios and the competencies. And, 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 and I thought this was pretty important because um, the competent, the, excuse me, the portfolio managers and the deputies are telling me that they're getting bombarded by industry, saying, wondering, um, uh, okay, so you're the contract owners. You know, we, we want to come in and see you and tell you how good we are, Okay. Well, that's not really how this, this strategy and our um, command structure works. Actually, what happens is the business portfolios 
give us, they basically give us the demand signal. They're the connection to the work, okay? The work comes in from them. The work comes in as far as, okay, we need a solution for this particular customer. And then it goes to the competencies to figure out how we're going to execute that task. And that would be um, by our business model, which is um, through a mix of government personnel and contract cap- contractor capability. So that's kind of the demand signal goes in here. The, on the right side, the competencies are actually executing the work through IPTs, okay? So if you wanted to know, if you wanted to talk to somebody besides 2.0 about contracts, then it would be one of the competencies, okay? And again, the, the, the um, contract strategy is basically a big piece of it are these 24 contracts that we're going to be talking about today, okay? That's not the whole contract strategy. There are some other command-wide contracts that we have. Um, Internet cafes, one. Corporate productions, another, okay? The, the Spay War, um, which is a Spay War command-wide contract, global install, that's one. We, um, so we're going to have other contracts besides these, but just not, uh, not 357. I think that's the number that we have right now. Okay, so anyway. Um, and then we're also going to be using external contracts, Seaport, ITES, and so forth. So um, the 2.0, the contracts, is, is a definitely a, has a different role in this contract strategy, meaning... Um, Chris looks to me to, to, to decide what kind of contracts we have. You know, obviously I do that with, with the business portfolios and the competencies, so, it's, so it, I'm not doing it by myself. But um, if we don't have the, enough contract ceiling, it's me. Um, you know, it's my responsibility, so that's kind of a different thing, which um, uh, is keeping me young. So anyway, so um, let's see, next slide. So this is, this is kind of in the weeds, but I just wanted to give you an idea of, of how, how it will work in a task order. So a portfolio or an IP, get, excuse me, IPT, gets a task from a customer and then goes to the competency to figure out how that task is going to get executed, okay? And then, um, hopefully sooner than later, the the procurement competency comes up with a um, purchase request. And then it goes to contracts, and then we award either a delivery order, task order, or a SAP action. Okay? So that's kind of in the weeds, but that's, you know, just to get you um, to understand how really the contract strategy and contract process works. And that's all I have. And I'm sure you don't have any questions because you're saving them for the people that really know um, how to answer them. So thank you very much.